Hey, welcome to our first ever podcast here at Crosspoint Community Church. And uh, my name is Chris, as you know, and look forward to hopefully doing this on a regular, if not weekly basis to add a little depth to and add to the discussion for the messages uh, for Sunday mornings. And so welcome to our first ever uh, experience together. So as we begin our time, I just want to, we're in a series entitled a new me in 23. And so as I, I think about the the beginning of a new year and all of the resolutions and goals and everything that we have a tendency to, to set, want to dig in a little bit. The first week, we talked about the foundational piece of a new me in 23 was our spiritual life. And what does it look like to be shaped by the world or to be shaped by the word? And uh, our theme verse over these next few weeks is Romans 12, uh, 1 and 2, but in particular, verse 2. And interesting thing about Romans is Paul writes a lot of theology in Romans 1 through 11, some great deep theology stuff. And then in verse chapter 12, verse 1, he says, in view of all of this great theology, here's how you should live that out. And uh, the first thing that he tells us in that first verse of, of chapter 12 is that our bodies are to be a living sacrifice, that our worship is an entire being, that our mind, our heart, our soul, our physical actions, the way that we think, the way that we do life should be transformed because of this theology. And then in verse 2, he digs in a little bit more and says that we have an opportunity to be shaped by this theology or to be shaped by the world. And uh, our natural inclination is to be bullied or to have peer pressure and let the world shape us, that they set the agenda, they set how we invest and do life, and, but that the best long-term investment for us as followers of Jesus is not to be shaped by the world, but to be shaped by God's Word, and that there's an investment for today, but also an investment for an eternity. And uh, obviously, the spiritual life is one of those things. To invest here and to invest and know Christ and be shaped by Him um, is a today thing, but also an eternity thing. The idea of, of getting to heaven and spending an eternity with God and not really knowing Him or having invested in Him um, seems weird or should seem weird to us. And so that's part of that passage. And then also for us, not just with our spiritual life, but also with our physical life, that God has given us a set number of days um, that He knows, and in those days, He wants us to maximize those days for His glory and for our pur- and for His purposes. And um, again, it's an investment. It's a gift that He's given us, and what do we do with that gift that He's given us? And I'll be honest, as I've <clears throat> st- been studying this, the physical piece, and thinking about it, I'm like, sometimes, uh, or not even sometimes, I wonder if... I'm the best uh, witness and model for being physically fit. And uh, cause listen, I can, I can lift a lot of weights. I can do a lot of things, but I also like my Mexican food. And so sometimes that Mexican food and the, the richness of food wins out against those things. But so it's definitely an area that I'm growing in and continuing to, to, to modify and to think through what does it look like for me personally um, to be fit physically for the calling that God has for me. And um, so anyway, so as we dig into that, know that that's something that's in the back of my mind and in the back of my heart as I think through the physical fitness, the, the our health as a whole. And um, so I know some of you have set aside even some time this year to think, hey, I need to get to the gym, I need to eat healthy or whatever. And those are important things. And um, so as you think about that, I want to go back to that passage in Romans chapter 2 chapter 12 verse 2 and the idea of being shaped and molded by what the um, being shaped by the world or being shaped by the word and it's easy for us as we think about health and fitness to think about all of the magazines and the celebrities and all of the things that the world offers us for an image of what we should or what they think we should look like and how we should act and the different things and so from the time that there's been celebrities up until today we have this we get our image of what we should look like many times from these celebrities because they're lifted up as the beautiful people as as whatever that is and so um, and we forget that they are um, when you look at a magazine 
and and all that that that's actually many times that's not really truly them they've been airbrushed and all kinds of modifications have been made so that um, they can be those beautiful people and so we get a skewed perspective of what beauty is and so in Romans chapter 12 verse 2 I want to, chapter 12 verse 2 I want to remind you of the fact of listen we should have a proper perspective and view of our beauty and our health and our fitness that comes from God's word not the world's agenda on that and I know that's a hard thing to do because who doesn't want to be the world's the America's best looking or the world's best looking man or woman or to be on a fitness magazine because we got a six-pack I get it but is that truly what God wants and desires for us so the second part of that chapter 2 verse chapter 12 verse 2 is to be shaped by God's word and so I want to just kind of dig into that just a tiny tiny bit and uh, to give you some more thoughts about it. Um, this, the, another verse that I want us to think about is in 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 7 and 8. That talks about that there's old wives' tales, there's things that we can believe, myths that we can believe, or we can be trained in God's Word. And um, it actually talks about, hey, that training, physical training is good, but training in godliness is even better. And I think it, it digs into and, and highlights a little bit more of um, that passage in Romans chapter 12 of how you're shaped and how you view and per- perceive the world. And so physical fitness is important. God has given us a gift, and we should dig into it. However, it's not the end all, the be all. And so what does it look like for us as Christians in particular? What does it look like for us to pursue health, physical health, mental health, and spiritual health. And as we think about that today, what does it look like for us to choose to be healthy? And maybe you're at a place where you're like, hey, I'm good. My health is, my physical health is good. I don't know, really need to make adjustments. Awesome. Great. I think most of us or many people come into the new year thinking, hey, I need to make some adjustments. And so what does it look like for you to be able to do that? One, keep things in proper perspective and uh, not use the magazines, not use TV and any of those things to set the, set the agenda for us. Um, physical training is good. First Timothy chapter 4, verse 7 and 8 says this, Do not waste time over arg- arguing over godless ideas and old wives' tales. Instead, train yourself to be godly. For physical training is good, but training for godliness is much better promising benefits in this life and the life to come. That word there in uh, 1 Timothy chapter 4, training, is literally gymnasium. We get our word gymnasium from it. So there is benefit to going to the gym and doing the exercises and doing those things correctly and well for an end purpose of being healthier. So that as you get older, as you have some goals of things that maybe you want to do, that you're intentional about that process. The other part of that is that um, sometimes we just go in without intention and purpose. There's one of the things that I love about um, seeing people in the gym at the beginning of the new year is people trying out machines for the first time and doing weird things on machines that they shouldn't be doing and actually in, could potentially hurt themselves because they're on machines and exercising and doing stuff and not really asking the right questions. And so for us, what does it look like as we grow in our physical fitness what does it look like for us to grow deeper in our physical fitness and to ask the right questions to find people that can help us and so one of the one of the principles that i want you to get this today is this is that we need to move forward in our physical fitness but we also need to be intentional to find somebody that can help us so maybe that means going to the gym and finding a trainer that can help you at least get you started and make some some good decisions there and then also maybe for some of us, it's the need to talk to someone who's a nutritionist and make some different choices and think about the ways that we can see food and treat food differently. Um, also, we need to talk to our doctor and to see what our doctor recommends and, and make those decisions as well so the doctor can, can help us with, hey, maybe you need to do this um, for your exercise regimen or maybe you need to think about this in your eating. And then one of the other things that, that um, I believe is also important, besides intentional physical stuff, talking to your doctor and all that, is also at sometimes many of us, we need to 
talk with our counselor or talk to someone close to us and be able to talk about what does it look like and what does it look like for us to be physically healthy and what is our motive for getting healthier and um, that sometimes that the motive for that is um, is not the right perspective that we, we're thinking about hey we want to look like this and we gain value a false value from how people perceive us and look at us and that that's our motive and that's a short-term motive that actually is a is a myth that we'll have more friends um, the more beautiful that will be so this morning today as you think about this idea of of growing in your faith and how your physical fitness applies I want you just to think about what is my long-term goal Does my current physical fitness keep me from doing the things that God has asked me to do? So can you, if God asks you to go and climb a mountain to share the gospel with someone, could you do it at this current level? Maybe, maybe not. Could you do some different things in your life? Sometimes it's age, but maybe it's just physical fitness and being in that place. And here's what I've come to see through scripture is this none of us are perfect none of us have ever arrived and a physical fitness is a continual journey there are seasons of life that are harder than others and that physical fitness does a few things it helps us with one it helps with our physical fitness feeling good stretching all those kind of things it also impacts our mental health our emotional health that it fights off, helps us fight off anxiety and depression. It also helps us be able to even make better decisions about the foods that we eat and things like that. So there's some some positive things that come from us pursuing physical fitnesses. Again, think of it as a long range goal, not as a, uh, man, I gotta gotta solve this, my physical fitness um, in a week or a month. It's it's a longer term thing. And, And I know our natural tendency is and and our culture is that we want instant gratification so if we take this pill or we get this part um, liposuctioned out or whatever it may be is that 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 will solve the problem Um, but there's long-term benefits to us pursuing a regular habit of physical fitness and and one is it just helps your heart it reduces the risk of heart disease and and that's obviously a a good thing Um, reduce the risk of obesity reduces the risk of diabetes and the things that come with that just just from regular physical exercise um, it improves our physical health our mental health our emotional well-being and here, here's one of the things that I want us to get is that this is a place of stewardship that God has gifted us with the spiritual life and spiritual health he's gifted us with emotional health and and physical health as well, and also with finances. And so just as we talk about stewarding the finances that God gives us, we should also think about how do we steward the physical health that we have, that this is an important piece to our life. And it's important, one, for ourselves, but also can impact your witness and the things that God has for you. And so as we think about our physical health, I just want to challenge you. Don't get caught up in the world's perspective. The magazine life, the filtered life that the world presents, it has a tendency to bully us into thinking, I have to look like this, or I have to be able to do these things, or or whatever that is that makes us think that we're not beautiful enough in God's eyes. For the scripture tells us, God created us. And it says, everything he created was and is good perfect so when God made you he didn't make junk he didn't make leftovers he made perfection in his eyes he knitted you together intimately in your mother's womb and so that my prayer is is that as we consider how we view ourselves is that the mirror that we use is not the mirror of the, of the world in the magazine filtered life, but the mirror that God presents to us and that our physical health that is he sees us and loves us and views us as perfect creation of his. Now, we live in a fallen world 
and every choice that we make has consequences. So even if you eat a burrito today, there's going to be consequences for that. Just as if you eat a salad, there's going to be consequences for that. And the, everything that we take in is an investment. It's an investment in, in our life and in the way that we live. And so as you think about how God's created you, use the gift, steward the gift that God has given you well. Over these next few weeks, we'll continue to think about this idea of a new me in 23. And here's my challenge for you as you think about your physical health. Make a plan. Don't beat yourself over it if you don't go to the gym or if you don't walk or whatever you choose to do to, to grow in your physical health. But make a plan. Tell somebody that you love and trust and do your best to stick to it and to see the rewards and the fruits of your labor of sticking to it for the long haul. You can have a new me in 23.